My lords, what have I to say why the sentence of death should not be pronounced upon me according to law? Goodbye, Willie. I have nothing to say that can alter your predetermination. Yeah. Sentence was already passed before your jury was impaneled. Yeah. I have much to say why my reputation should be rescued from the load of false accusation and calumny that have been heaped upon it. The man dies, but his memory lives. I wish that my memory may animate those who survive me. While I look down with complacency upon the destruction of that perfidious government which upholds her dominion through blasphemy of the Most High. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A government which is steel to barbarity by the cries of the widows and the tears of the orphans it has made. True, true. I have been accused of that importance in the efforts to emancipate my country as to be considered a keystone in the combination of Irishmen. You do me honor over much. There are men engaged in this conspiracy, my lord, who are not only superior to me, but even to your own conceptions of yourself. What, my lord, shall you tell me? That I am accountable for all the blood that has and will be shed in this struggle? Shall you tell me this? And must I be so very a slave as not to repel it? I do not fear to approach the omnipotent judge, to answer for the conduct of my whole life, and am I to be appalled and falsified by the mere remnant of mortality here? By you two, who if it were possible to collect all the innocent blood that you have shed in your unhallowed ministry in one great reservoir, your lordship might swim in it. My lords, you are impatient for the sacrifice. Be yet patient. I am going to my cold and silent grave. My race is run. I have but one request to make at my departure from this world. It is the charity of its silence. Let no man write my epitaph. For since no man who knows my motives dare now vindicate them, let not prejudice nor ignorance asperse them. Let them and me rest in obscurity and peace, and my tomb remain uninscribed until other times and other men can do justice to my character. When my country takes her place among the nations of the earth, then, and not till then, let my epitaph be written. I have done. Go on. Go on. Go on.